We did first two weeks of how to get a man, how to keep a man. So this next two weeks we're gonna do how to get a woman and how to keep a woman will be next week Tuesday's videos. So this Tuesday we're gonna do how to get a woman. Come on, y'all know y'all need tips on that. Fellas, this is for you. This is basically just some three cents. This is just a little tip. We're not gonna take you all the way. We're just gonna get you a little started here. So hopefully give you a little a little heading to, you know, go after the girl that you've been eyeing for a couple weeks. Uh, you want me to go first? Do you want to go first? I'll go first. Okay, so my first point I said is, you need to show that you have something going for yourself. So whether it be you have a job, whether it be you have a house, I mean, obviously that will be for the older men who got themselves some money, you know, after college or even before college. Whether that be college degree, not everyone needs to have a college degree. Some ladies prefer their mind of college degree, and that's fine. Others who don't, that is also fine. Um, a car, just basically you handling your responsibilities. So number one, make sure you have something going for yourself, men, okay? Number two, attire. So dress, why are you that? Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, number two, attire. Dress like you want a woman and not a little girl. So I don't need to be seeing you everywhere you go dressing in basketball attire as if you go to go on the court. No, we women like to see versatility. So what I mean is that if you have to put on a little suit hair nail, if you don't have a suit, wear a nice dress shirt and slacks sometimes. Even if you don't even want to do all of that, just dress clean. And what I mean is, I don't need to see, well, I'm taking, ladies don't need to see you wearing a shirt with a Baconator stain from two weeks ago. That's a no, no, uh-uh, eh. Anyways, like I say, gentlemen, just be clean. Number three, confidence is key, man. Confidence is key, and what I mean by that, is okay let's say you at a party or whatever right and you oh and you see this girl you really take you see this girl she dropped down gorgeous i mean from head to toe <laughs> she get that color color body okay and so you tell your homeboy go tell her you you want her number how to work how to work this is 2018 honey no you go over there and you get the number yourself man we don't do that we don't play that type of game in 2018 okay so confidence is key let the lady know what you want and what you're going after. We'll be very impressed by that. My last and final point, just simply listen. We women love men who listen to us, be fully engrossed in what we have to say. Like the little small things that come out of our mouth and y'all pay attention to that, that goes a long way. So men, listening is a very key point in trying to get us women, okay? And that's my final point. Boo! Boo! All right, so, first of all, what you gotta do, fellas, first of all, you have to identify the target. Because in this world, there are several, several beautiful women. So if you're going based off looks, you're gonna be looking for a long time. Because if you're looking for the prettiest girl in the room, all you have to do is just go to a different city and you'll find another prettiest girl in the world. So I mean, wherever you go, there's gonna be pretty girls anyway. So you have to identify the target. What is it that you are looking for in a woman? Are you looking for a girl who's funny? Looking for a girl who's into this, into that? All that good stuff. So you gotta look for the things that you like in a girl and that will help narrow the field. Point number two, once you have identified the target, it is time to create a lasting impression. Not, not just the first impression is important, but a consistent impression is key when getting to, you know, go after the girl that you want. For example, when I went after Sparkle, I didn't just slide in DMs just saying, hey baby, what's your number? I like to take you on a date, blah, blah, blah. No, it was like, 
couple messages at a time. It was like, here, little small conversation here, so you gotta, so make sure they remember you. The point of creating a lasting impression is that they remember you, like, that you know who they are. Cause chances are, you kinda got your idea on somebody, you know, well, let me say this. For those of you who have somebody, you know, that you have in mind when you click this video, I'm sure you do, whether it's somebody at the office, somebody at the church, somebody in your local book club, whatever, wherever they're at, but you have somebody in mind. So you have to make sure you're getting in there and creating a lasting impression. Make her laugh, make her smile. Have conversations about something, about the movies, never the weather. The weather's boring, that's, you know, anybody can talk about the weather, but like something that she'll remember you by, that she'll say, oh yeah, that's Cameron, he is such and such, such and such. So like she said, yeah, you know, talk about if you have something going for yourself, but something memorable from the conversation that you have about, that, sh that you have with her. Point number three is simply shoot your shot, man. Like, <laughs> just shoot the shot. Like, go, go in for it. You know what you want. Like, so go forward, be forward, straightforward with her. Be like, hey, you know, I really enjoy hanging out with you, or hey, this is really cool, We're getting to know you, whatever. I like to take you out for coffee. I like to take you on a lunch day. I like to take you to the zoo. I like to go somewhere which got to go somewhere out with you. So that's what I'm saying. Like, shoot your shot. Don't, don't, don't BS around it. Don't beat around the bush saying, ah, oh, well, you know, I think it'd be cool. Don't be like, what's 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 the beat around the bush answers that you've heard? So I know. Don't like talk about something and then like completely miss your opportunity to take them out on a date. Yeah. So like really go in for the kill, shoot your shot. But that's all I'm gonna say for now because I have a huge announcement and that is, drum roll please. My book. So I am officially, officially an author. My title of my book is How the Nice Guy Finishes First. This will be available on July 1st, 2018. So it'll be also available on hard copy and ebook on Amazon Kindle. So if you want, if you want to find out more tips and tricks, I only talked about three because there's a whole lot more I have in this book. Little, little tips and nuggets. And really guys, this is for you to really you know, go above and beyond because they say us nice guys are born, but we're not born. We just not. don't necessarily have all the tools to succeed sometimes. <laughs> so this is really going to give you the tools to really go after that. And for ladies watching this, it's good to read this book too so you know what a nice guy looks like. Because I'm sure a lot of you have been dealing with, you know, douchebags and bad guys and just dudes who have done you wrong. So, but this is this will help you figure out what a nice guy looks like. So. Both, that's my shameless plug for the video. <laughs> Moving right along. All right guys, thank you for tuning in. Make sure that you um, come back next week for next week's video on how to keep a girl. We will be talking about that. Um, for those of you who are new, consider subscribing. Follow us on Instagram, at thatguykaylove. And at underscore shorty love, first O is a zero. We'll be back next Tuesday with the next video. But until next time, peace.